jazz was very prevalent in the West Midlands, a lot of jazz, a lot of uh, blues, um, a lot of, um, obviously, West Indian music was massive for us because of, of, of new immigrants. Uh, and I found that, to me, I guess, that's one of the things that made me want to be in the record industry. It was the different cultures that I was listening to that really fascinated me. So, um, by... I guess 1960, 61, um, and funny enough for BBC, I'm doing a, a programme specifically about 1960, because I think 1960 is an amazing year that people have never looked at, it because I think it was a turning point of where we, in West Midlands particularly, put the wall behind us and decided we had to get on with it. Um, and I think that music changed completely within within about 18 months and it was that it was that emergence in 62 of the beatles that completely dominated everything and but i think it started about 1960 um when suddenly there was this well certainly for us in the west midlands there was lots of culture coming in that wasn't strictly what, you know, Matt Monroe and, and, and uh, Mrs. Mills, you know, there was a lot of Calypso type stuff, a lot of what became reggae, it wasn't reggae, then it was blue beat, that we could, we were, you know, we, as kids we were hearing, um, you know, people were having house parties, Jamaican house parties, and you were hearing this amazing music, which was certainly more exciting to me than uh, some of the, the the British bands that were around, and, and you know, we were also at those that time in the West Midlands. You had a good signal from um, what was called American Forces Network. Um, so we, you know, the BBC didn't play pop music, but you had American Forces Network, which was sort of the GIs from Germany, which was amazing, and you had Radio Luxembourg from half past seven at night till about twelve o'clock playing pop music, although that faded in and out, but. Uh, but I would, I, I've listened to Jeff Lynne and, and lots of guys from the West Midlands, and we were all doing the same. We were all listening to American Forces Network and um, listening to uh, Radio Luxembourg. And, and funny enough, I guess, because the West Midlands, of course, is a massive area. And that's the other thing that, 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 that sort of people forget how big that the West Midlands is. So, you know, I could play Briley Hill one night, and the culture between Briley Hill and, say, the top rank suite in, in, in Birmingham was worlds apart. I remember going to the Robin Hood Club in Briley Hill, and I had a pair of Levi jeans on, and, you know, they thought I was a mod. <laughs> you know, because I played a, a little bit of Motown, and, and, and that's how different it was, you know. Elvis Presley was still alive in Northampton, you know. This was 1980. It, it was... It was, because um, it's such a big area, it's such a big cultural difference. And that, to me, is why, uh, I guess, we were so successful. 